in the previous video I mentioned that um, I was going to show you where you can find your executable files after the build process and I don't know how but I somehow happened to miss that so I'm creating this video in order to add that well if you head over to your build uh, like the build profile you will find uh, most of your uh, build like for example this was the first build this was the second build and it's all that I did right in front of you so I'm opening the most recent one to show you the entire process to understand why uh, team services stores build in such a way and how you can change them so for example if you head over to here and it's taking a bit longer this so for example if uh, you have a look at this list you will see it restores barrels tests publishes and oh there it is copy files to this location uh, this one what this actually means is that the most uh, recent files uh, that are like for example generated it will copy all of those files to this directory what the what the directory is this is our own directory this is the directory where everything was created but we sorry Ronan the Ronan is at uh, Abhiki Ninja well, if, if you wanted to know who he was <laughs> so if you ever go to technet say hello to him so all of those uh, executables uh, you can see the, the executable file, the configuration file, the program database. All of those were cre uh, were like moved to somewhat similar location, but there is a slight difference. In in this directory, there is an S over here, and this is the artifact directory. The artifact directory contains an A over here, and that's the difference between both of them. And you cannot, and that was exactly why we did not find the bin folder over here if you uh, like for example uh, if uh, you build your executables on your local visual studio you will find that uh, the build directory is created right under the main project directory so if the project to upload is our main directory uh, we navigate right into that we go here and why is it slow so you as you get a bin folder right over here but just in order to keep the source code away from the executable so that your your team is only working with the source code and they are not like downloading the new executables that were created because they don't need it they don't need to have the executables the executables are for the customers so to to distinguish that uh, these things were like migrated to the artifact staging directory and that is also a part of that I did not want to do okay <laughs> so while that that's loading so basically what happens is that it provides you a very simple way of managing the executables and the source code and the good part is that uh, is that the artifacts folder is always cleaned up before every build so if uh, for example uh, the previous binaries you have to store them because after every uh, after every iteration of the build it is going to be removed from there I want to be here copy files to and another click right over here so if you have a look over here build.sources directory this is the main source directory that we have like for example the main code directory and then the target folder you know like for example the copying is an operation to take the files or content from source folder and drop it to the target folder and this is the target folder 
exactly saying that it must be dropped into the artifact staging directory and this is a variable so if uh, if you paid enough attention you will uh, you will know that what these variables are and these are the default variables if you need to have a look at that you can go to the predefined variables and you will find what those mean so uh, so basically uh, what happened was that this was the default setting for our build and what it did was it simply took everything that we had and it placed it in the artifact staging directory so that our main source code directories are not mm, like changed or interfered with in any way possible so let's head over back and it's funny that i'm not showing you where the executables are and i'm just talking about executables the page loaded so these are uh, the directories the user defined ones and each and every single directory these are the agent directories the build directories this directory for example if you have a look over here build dot artifact staging directory this is our directory that the, the directory that we are interested in so as you can see it also has that a at the end of it if we go to the other one it will have something else and so on and so forth so these are all of the predefined variables that we might use in the build procedures so finally head over to the build now that you know and uh, now that you know and you understand why the binaries are not available in uh, in the code directories how they went there we can simply just head over and see where they actually are okay ding dong ding dong I need to upgrade my internet connection. Okay. Oh, there it is. Let them load. We're not in a hurry, are we? All right. So, if uh, you come over here, this is the summary timeline. What happened? artifacts I don't want to go in there code coverage anything tests if we had any we did not have any so there won't be any test results artifacts drop come on don't do this to me let's see what this is project to upload bin I'm pretty much sure things are making a bit sense as you can see the artifacts explorer the build artifact staging artifacts explorer right under the build so basically it is provided to you right in front of you right under your nose should I say so that every executable every executable and every result of every build is assigned to that build itself summary timeline artifacts code coverage and tests every single thing is provided right under that build so for example this drop folder project to upload project to upload okay so bin the binaries the release and these are the executables so for example if you ever have any confusion in downloading or finding the executables where the executables are since we had our configuration set to release this is the release if you have your configuration set to debug you will find debug uh, uh, here or alongside this so whatever your settings are this would definitely change and you, you see the download fold uh, the download click uh, the download hyperlink sorry uh, you can click over it and you can download the, the entire folder or you can like for example use those settings that I showed you that I have shown you to like for example our uh, zip archive this folder and like uh, upload it or send it to your customers or whatever you want to do it and each and every build will have its own artifacts right over here. if you are using the default settings if you like for example remove this one you won't have this you will have to write it 
again or you will have to write your own module to upload uh, the executables otherwise it, uh, 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 in the post job cleanup you will miss everything so i hope you've learned maximum of the team services from this three video course this was not basically a course i might make one if if people uh, would love this but hopefully this will cover maximum of uh, the team services stuff and see you in the next modules